creation. It all started with the earth. It started with day and night, God creating the oceans, separating the sky from them, the animals, the insects, and of course, Adam and Eve. Sin came into the world and the fall of man happened when a snake came to Eve and convinced her to eat from the forbidden fruit. The forbidden fruit came from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Eve fell for the lies from the snake and she ate from it. Then she gave some to Adam, her husband. And sin entered the world. God found out and he had to remove Adam and Eve from the garden. An angel was placed in the doorway of the Garden of Eden and they were forced to labor into the earth. Down the storyline, we're introduced to Abram. God sends Abram from his homeland and makes a promise to him one night that his descendants would be as great as the stars. Eventually, Abram's name is changed to Abraham. And God blesses him with a child at a very old age. The child's name is Isaac. And from Isaac comes Jacob. As we're going through the different as we're going through the different stories in the Bible and we go down the storyline, we meet different prophets. And the prophets are different people chosen by God to bring hope to the people, to bring light to the people, and to give them a message. They speak of the kingdom, the new covenant. They speak of Jesus. One prophet in the New Testament being John the Baptist and another in the Old Testament being Ezekiel. But of course, there's many more and each with a different message, but all pointing to the same thing. As we come down and we get closer to Jesus, we come to the virgin birth, Mary, a young girl who was chosen by God because she was different. She had the most faith. She was chosen to be Jesus' earthly mother. An angel appeared to her one night and gave her the message of good news. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in a manger as a human baby boy. Jesus never once sinned and he walked in obedience every single day of his life. He was fully man and fully deity. As Jesus grew closer to the end of his life, he began to perform miracles. He would teach in the synagogues or where he seemed fit. He was kind and loving to those rejected by society. He taught his very message to those who followed him so they themselves would teach the same message. Barnabas, who was a murderer, was chosen over Jesus. And in turn, Jesus was beaten, tortured, and he was forced to drag his cross to the same area he would die. He was nailed to a cross and hung in between two criminals. Before his death, Jesus asked God for the forgiveness of those who were in front of him. For they know not what they do. And eventually Jesus died. Three days later, Jesus rose from the grave and appeared before his disciples. Fulfilling some of the prophecies. This increased their faith. It gave them strength. And they preached the good news. Jesus promised that someone would come after him. He then was taken into heaven. The people waited and on the day of Pentecost, when they are all gathered, the spirit falls on them and they begin to speak in tongues. This was a sign that the Holy Spirit had arrived. This was amazing. Through the sacrifice that Jesus made for us, and the leaving of the Holy Spirit with us and allowing the Spirit to live inside of us, we can walk as friends with Jesus. We can walk like Abraham walked with Jesus. We can build a relationship with Jesus without fear. 
and we can spread the good news. We can preach as the disciples preached thousands of years ago. In the future, the kingdom will come and all sin will be gone. The devil will be wiped away and eliminated. And as long as you confess your sins and believe in Jesus, you can enter the new kingdom.